Hi everybody, this is Jen. Welcome back to my channel. So today what I want to do, I spoke to you previously about rolling out a series of tutorials. Um, so I'm actually going to start those today. Drum roll. And um, I'm going to start from the very, very beginning. So I'm going to do my tutorials in different series. So series one will include the basics you need to get started. It will include choosing the right yarn for crochet choosing the right hooks for crochet and we will then move on to the very basics of doing a slip knot and a chain and then as I go forward with my, my, with my different series we will become more advanced as we go. Now obviously I appreciate that there are different abilities but I do want to start from the very beginning simply because that's how I learnt and um, I don't think it's fair to jump too far into the advanced bits. So you know please do feel free if um, my, my series one is too basic for you then you know feel free to skip those um, but I will be rolling out quite a few um, and, I, and then we'll be going on to some actual mini projects that we do together I know lots of you are very keen on making um, a kind of a pill shape um, so I am going to do that with you and that's probably going to run into early next week so please do um, keep an eye on the alert button because I will be posting about that. And um, yeah, so we're going to do that and it'll be quite a versatile shape that you can then make other things with, not just one of these little guys. So yeah, keep an eye out on that. So this first video, um, it's, it's a very basic one and I'm just going to run through with you some of the very basic things that you will need to get you started. Now, obviously the first thing you're going to need is a ball of yarn okay um, it doesn't have to be the most expensive yarn um, but you don't want it too cheap either um, there's nothing worse than a really cheap yarn that splits because the first thing that's going to do is put you off learning um, so any any ball of wool really will do you don't want to go too chunky um, because if you start to learn with a really really chunky yarn you'll then struggle when you go down to a double knit so I always teach my students with double knits because then they can, you know, the world's their oyster, they can go to four ply, they can go to any um, yarn weight they like. So you want a ball of wool. I won't talk too much about crochet hooks because I'm going to do a, um, a video after this one about yarns and hooks. So you need a crochet hook. You need a pair of scissors. They don't have to be expensive scissors. There are lots of different ones around. I use three different pairs for different things. These are perfect for snipping off your small ends if you're doing a small project, um, as are these. And these are just a bit bigger, so they're just a bit better for the chunkier yarns. But mostly my go-to scissors are these lovely little um, sort of iridescent ones that you can pick up in any um, haberdashery. The next thing you want a yarn needle this is just a plastic one i quite like these because they're bendy and i make quite a lot of toys so if i'm sewing in ends i do like the, the the give and these aren't too bad actually they don't snap the next thing that you might find quite useful let's put my glasses on are these little um stitch markers now these are like tiny i'll just take one out to show you I don't know if you can see that there they're like tiny little nappy pins and the idea is that you hook those into the, your yarn and then close them so that you don't lose your place when you're crocheting okay um the other thing that you might find useful this was about a pound maybe less on um i think it was ebay or amazon and it's just a little digital stitch counter so the idea is that you put it around your finger or your, or your thumb it doesn't want to do up I do use this and you just stitch, count your stitches as you go okay the other one that I've got which I, I, I probably prefer it's a bit bulkier is just a good old-fashioned clicker you can reset it when you want to it's got a little stand on it to stand it up and you literally just click as you go along and then when you want to reset it you just go back to the beginning so that's quite good and then some thread threads always really useful um, 
I mean mostly you'll be sewing in your ends and things like that with your yarn um, but if you if you're doing something that just needs some extra strength I, I know I use it for my pom-poms on my hats the, the Gutterman um, strong thread is really really good but you can use any kind so we have our yarn we have our crochet hooks we have our scissors we have our stitch markers we have some thread and this is purely optional oh our yarn needle and a little stitch counter if you want them they're sort of just extras now uh, what I would say is you do not need to rush out and buy the most expensive of everything you really don't um, just to show you an example this came on the front of one of my magazines that's a, a subscription and I'm actually including this in one of my future giveaways and this is just perfect if you're starting out because you've got your tape measure you've got a little holder there with some yarn needles you've got some stitch markers and you've also got a really gorgeous little Shaun the Sheep um, pencil case um, just so you know I'm not affiliated um, with anyone or, or, or Shaun the Sheep or whoever makes Shaun the Sheep um, I'm just doing this um, these are my own personal opinions and I just thought this would be really nice to include in a giveaway because I've got so many things like this I really don't need any more but for somebody starting out like when I started out this would be really well received um, and I hope somebody would be really grateful for, for the for the use of this so lots of magazines out there lots of little gifts on the front sometimes you get hooks on the front sometimes you get stitch markers um, this little pot of stitch markers um, came on the front of a magazine so you know you lot, lots of things you don't need to rush out and buy the most expensive items um, especially when you are starting because you know you don't know if it's going to be for you or not and um, if you go out and you buy the most expensive of everything then and you decide not to continue to crochet I hope you wouldn't but if you decided not to continue then you know you haven't wasted too much money um, I will give a couple of links to some really good offers and some really good sets of crochet hooks when I go on to do my next um, my next video. So I hope you've all found that really useful. I will um, list those items beneath my video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And um, thank you again, guys, for all your support. I really do appreciate it. Bye.